Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do an immersion chiller with... I have half inch soft copper tubing, these three eighths as well. Um, anything bigger or smaller than that, you're not really going to get the best cooling for your money. <clears throat> so you want to go with half inch or three eighths. And um, this is half inch outer diameter, 25 foot length. I'm using a paint can because it fits nicely inside my boil kettle and that's how I'm going to measure my boil. A lot of people will use kegs, but I don't have any kegs right now, so I'm going to use this. And by kegs, I mean the five gallon Sankey kegs that home brewers tend to use to uh, store their beer in. So I'm going to cut some of this pipe. I have a small pipe cutter here. I'm just going to clamp and spin around here because I have some <coughs> elbows that I'm going to use instead of just trying to bend this pipe because I don't want to get any ink or anything. So let's see how this bends around here. And take your time with this because you're really only going to get one shot to bend this around. bending on the back like that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to wrap this around and uh, let you see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, brought my pod in. Got it coiled up. Check to see how it is. Everything looks good. Make sure both ends are up on top there. And now I'm going to get some elbows and some extra copper that I cut off. I'm going to go ahead and solder on the pieces so that we can have our hose hook up to it so that we can run the cold water through. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all ready. Okay, next we are going to clean up these edges, and we're going to solder up on our elbows. <clears throat> so, we want to clean these up a little bit. Make sure there's no burrs on them. Clean up the edges. Get them nice and rough. Roll this up here a little bit. Get the inside of that. flux to go on the outside here and then put it inside here as well Now it's ready to solder, so I'm going to get something to hold this sideways for me, and then I'm going to solder this up. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so we have our fitting in place, facing the way that we want it to. We have our lead-free solder. Our propane tank here, and we're going to fire this up. Start to heat this. And we want to heat. And now we want to put that on there and test. 
Yeah, we're gonna keep doing this until the solder starts to melt around the edge. Alrighty, so I got all my fittings welded up, got it hooked up to the hose, and as you can hear, we got her working. So if you know how to solder, this is the way to do it. It'll be a lot cheaper. Oh yeah, that's nice and cool. Um, they also make compression fittings that you can buy if you don't know how to solder my first time soldering so it was good to learn it was only $30 to get all the equipment needed to solder this up um, the copper and the fittings were about 56 bucks online so I'll give you an idea how much you can make it for as opposed to buying it and it's not the prettiest thing but it's gonna do its job so I'm happy <laughs>